Hey guys, and welcome back to another YouTube video. In today's video, uh, the second video in my uh, intermediate Python tutorials, I'm going to be going over static and class methods. Um, so pretty much these are just uh, different things you can use uh, within a class. Uh, and I'm going to explain what they do and why they're useful. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Um, so because these two things, uh, methods, obviously a part of a class, use a class, we need to first create a class. So in this instance, I'm just going to make a class. I'm going to call it person. Um, it is a class object. And then I'm just going to start off by making my initialization uh, method here. Give it self. Uh, I'm also going to give it name and age. And we move to the next line. So let's just assign our variables here, here self.name equals name. And self.age is equal to age. Okay, the next method I'm going to make um, this one is going to be called get population. Like this. I type self. Um, actually, here I'm going to type CLS and I'm going to get into what this does uh, in a little bit. And I'm going to return CLS dot population. And now I just remembered that I actually forgot to make this up here. I'm going to make a class variable um, where I'm just going to say population is equal to 50, like so. Okay, one more method. This one I'm going to call define and then is adult. And then in here, I'm just going to put age. I'm going to say return age greater than equal to 18. Okay, I'm also going to make one more method down here just to show you the difference between a bunch of these. And I'm just going to call define um, display. Okay, and this one's going to take self um, and that's actually all we need. We're just going to print to the screen in this one. We're going to say self dot name and then comma is and then comma self dot age comma years old. So this should, if I did this right, it's going to say whatever the person's name is, is and then their age years old. So for me, 18 years old. So now let's create a new instance of this class down here. Um, so I'm just going to call this one new person. I'm going to set it equal to a person whose name is Tim and whose age is 18, like so. And now I'm just going to go through this class and kind of uh, go through what we've actually done here. So pretty much what I've started off by doing is I've created a class variable population equals 50. I've done my uh, constructor method, um, which is just going to initialize my variables name and age. And then I've created two methods in here, which actually aren't done. And they're called get population um, and is adult. Now the name of this video is class methods and static methods. So one of this is a class is a class method and the other one is a static method. Um, go ahead and guess which one you think is uh, which. So I'm going to tell you right now, the first one is actually a class method. And the next, this one here is a static method. And the way that we denote these in Python is by putting something called a decorator above these methods. Um, so it's just an at sign and then the name. Uh, so in that case, static method or class method, in this case, static method. Now, what is a cloth class method and what is a static method? And the best way to explain these is to use an example. Um, so pretty much a class method means that you can call it on any um, instance of a class. So you don't need to have, uh, for example, I don't know what to say. You don't have to have an object already created of that class. You can just call it on the class. So for here, for example, I've done something like new person and it. Typically, if I didn't have any other um, any static methods or class method, I would just say like new person dot display or new person dot get population. What this class method allows us to do is do something like this. So we can do person dot get population. Now, person is simply the name of our class. It's not the name of an object of that class. So new person is an object of class person, whereas person is just the name of the class. And if I do that and I print this to the screen, so I print person dot get population, assuming I have no errors here. Um, oh, it says it's because I haven't put uh, the little brackets here. My bad dot get population, it pops up to the screen and it gives us the value of 50. And again, we didn't have to create an object to use that method because it is a class method. Um, I hope that makes sense. I'll try to explain it maybe one more time really quickly. Pretty much you don't need to create an object of the class to use any methods that are decorated as class method. Now also in class method, 
all that's passed to the class method um, is, well, the class. Because it's not actually an object, we don't need this self parameter here like we need um, in our initialization method and in any other regular methods that we have. Um, we just need one variable. We can call it whatever we want. In this case, I call it CLS, which is going to store, well, what class you're getting pretty well. And then we can add any other parameters that we want. So I can add X, I can add Y, um, infinitely many after that. We just need to make sure that we have at least one in there because for example, if I remove this um, CLS like that, it's gonna say take zero positional argument but one was given because the class name is automatically sent into um, this method when we call it. Okay, the next type of method is static method. Um, and this one is similar to class method um, except it can be called without using that class, I want to say. So it doesn't take a self parameter and it doesn't take a class parameter. Um, so you don't actually need anything in here. In this case, I have age just because I want to be able to compare age, um, but it doesn't need any parameters. If I did something like this, it would work fine. So the way we denote that again is with the at sign static method just above where the method is defined. Um, and to use this method, I can do something like person dot is adult. And then in here, if I put something like five, we're going to get back the value of false, which you can see here. If I do a value like 21, we get a value of truth. Now, why is this useful? What's different than class method? Um, static method is just used when you don't need self and you don't, again, need that actual object. And it's just a good organizational way of storing a bunch of methods. So for example, if you had like I don't know, maybe a math class that you created um, and you wanted to have a few math objects and then you wanted a bunch of static methods that were all stored under that math. So for example, when you use the math module in Python, you use math.round or math. So on. That's an example of possibly a static method or just a function within the math class. Um, you want to organize all your static methods which in, within that class. Um, so you would call like whatever the class name is math and then dot the method and then you give it an argument and it'll return that and work fine. Uh, I hope that kind of makes sense. It, it is hard to explain if you don't have like a lot of good use cases for it. Um, class method, it just takes the actual um, class and then it can access anything within the class um, that's public to the class. So here you see I do CLS dot population and population is a variable defined up here. This static method, it can't access this population um, variable because um, it doesn't have access to the class name, right? It, do it doesn't, it's not passed that information. Um, so it can only use the parameters that you pass it. It can't use any that are defined within the class. Um, and that's really the best way I can kind of explain it to you guys um, and a good way to understand how to use this um, and why they're useful is to use them in your own um, use cases. So again, static method, um, you can call just by calling the person, uh, the name of the class and then that method um, given whatever parameters. It doesn't need any parameters. If I do something like this and I'll just put like five greater than or equal to 18, this still works. Um, you don't need any parameters. Whereas a class method, you need one parameter at least at minimum, um, which is going to be that class name. And it has access to anything within the class. So any variables you define um, or other static methods within, like within this class method, you could call another static method um, and so on. So yeah, I hope that makes sense to you guys. It is kind of hard to explain the static and class methods, but they are really useful, um, especially if you're trying to organize things. Um, and when you get further on with object-oriented programming in Python, you definitely notice that you will use these a lot. Anyways, that's been it for this video. Um, please make sure you guys leave a like on the video and subscribe, and I will see you again in the next one.